Students, welcome to Short Sales Classes, and this video is on Economics Honors Test Model Paper Solutions. So I will be solving one after another questions in this series of videos, which will be uploaded live in our channel. You can watch them. Okay. Now, the first uh, question we have: the total cost C of a factory per week is a function of its weekly output Q, and uh, the equation is given C equal to 500 plus 12 Q. So it's a linear function which does not pass through origin, which look like this: 12 Q output sloping function, and this value is 500, and it's a positively sloping function. Okay, so here and uh, the factors, the factory has a capacity limit of 600, so the capacity here, so lowest capacity must be zero. So Q uh, here, so lowest capacity is zero, maximum is 600. So here, remember that if Y equal to MX plus C is the function, then the lowest and highest value of x gives domain okay and this will give you a range now how do you know that so domain is actually the maximum and minimum value proposition of independent variable and when it comes to dependent variable we get this so obviously this is a structure formation of y equal to mx plus c here we can see. So what we have to do is they have to define the domain as well as the range. So domain is very much clear. So zero lies between this to 600. So this is the domain. If you put q equal to zero, c equal to 500. If you put q equal to 600, so 500 plus 12 into 600 so 500 seven seven double zero so the range here is 500 to 777 double zero so this is the domain and range now the next question we are proceeding this question says from a demand curve known to be linear so linear demand curve is p equal to a minus b q common assumption as it's a demand so that's why this negative so a minus b q we have the values p equal to 15 and 35 p equal to 12 and 50 remember that a and b are the unknown part so you have to put 15 equal to a minus b q that is b and 35 q 35 b and in the second case it is 12 equal to a minus 50 b all you have to do is now to solve them so minus plus minus 3 equal to this is cancelled out 15 B B equal to 1 by 5 similarly you can put the value of A here okay so 15 equal to A minus 35 by 5 so 7 A equal to 22 so the answer is P equal to 22 minus Q by 5 okay so in which of the quadrants the Cartesian planes does the function lie? So you can see that A is positive and B is also positive, although B is a fraction. So simply they lie in quadrant number one, C U V A D R A N T. So they lie in the quadrant one. And this is the extra thing I have done, which is nothing but the equation of the given line. Okay. Next I'm proceeding to the third question prove that the point elasticity is minus 1 exactly at the midpoint of the linear demand curve q equal to a minus bp so is this for this you can go for any standard book which has the proof so for point elasticity always remember that the elasticity structure i'm just giving you an idea 
so the elasticity is pattern uh, always remember that dq by dp the derivative format is needed into p by q is the analysis okay so dq by dp into p by q format you have to put there are point elasticity and arc elasticity there are three different types of formation this i have done in another video of our class named as elasticity structure that will give you the idea of this segment next question is using derivative sketch the graph of the following cubic function so here we will let it as y so the structure is dy dx so this will be 3x square minus 3 that will be equal to 0 so x equal to plus minus 1 so d2y dx to the second order derivative if you do it will give you 6x now at 1 d2 by dx2 is positive so this value is minimum at x equal to minus 1 this is negative so this value is maximum so we now know the maximum and minimum value of the structure when x equal to this so y equal to 1q minus 3 equal to minus 2 and y equal to plus 2 so the combination with 1 with minus 2 minus 1 with 2 this lies in quadrant number 4 and this lies in quadrant number 2 now this is 4 over here is the minimum point of the curve and this is the maximum point so and the curve we can see that if you put x equal to 0 over here then y is also 0 so the curve passes through origin So as the curve passes through origin, so we will draw a curve like this, which has a maximum point here, minimum point here, and one more rule is the total number, these are called the bending points, so total number of bending point equal to highest power of the graph minus one so we have two bending points and this is your perfect graph in the next video i will discuss many different questions thank you